I would assume everybody watching this video knows what the Robux 40% saving method is. If you don't, I've got several videos about it on my channel. And honestly, it's like incredibly useful, especially if you want to be very careful with your Robux. Maybe you want to save a lot of Robux so you can buy other accessories or game passes or clothing in the future. Pretty much, yeah, the 40% script is just like really incredible, actually. It's kind of crazy that Robux hasn't like stopped us from using it yet. Anyway, there's one problem with it. Well, maybe not everyone encounters this, but I definitely do. To be fair though, it's not really a problem with the script itself. It's more of like a problem with the users because honestly, I have this problem. I know some of you guys probably like also do this. It's so incredibly easy to forget to use the script to save Robux. Like every time I buy something, I just don't even think about it. And it's kind of annoying, especially if you're buying like a lot of UGC items. For me, it always happens after I buy the item. I just like buy it and then five seconds later, I'm like, oh damn, I forgot to use the 40% script. Anyway, today that changes because guys, there is an automatic like Robux saving method. It pretty much adds a button onto Roblox where you can automatically save money. So this time you won't forget. Big shout out to Fern for making this. Fern sent this to me on Discord like ages ago and I just forgot to make a video on it. But apparently it's working now. So um, yeah, we're going to try this in today's video. Fern has a tutorial. I think in Fern's tutorial, it's like the OG uh, YouTube tutorial style with the text on the notepad, which is brilliant. But yeah, we're going to check this out. So I believe the steps are okay yep they are on the extension i'm gonna leave a link to this down below it's called row saver currently only got a thousand users the percentage rating is not that good i think it's because people don't know how to set it up which um obviously this video is gonna come in helpful so yeah if this does help you guys make sure to leave a good rating i've known fern for probably years now and they've always made very very cool stuff so um yeah we're gonna go and install this we're gonna add the extension i'm going to be using microsoft edge in today's video if you guys are using google chrome that's also fine so once the extension is added there you go i just added it we should be good to go well we just have to set up something else there is actually a robux saving game because if you guys remember in my other video i did show you how to set up the 40 percent script in your own game with this method it's even easier because there's a row saver default place so you don't really have to like configure anything yourself so much you can just download the place and just use it so um yeah we'll go and do that now i'll leave a link to this place down below you can also find it on the extensions page over on the google chrome web store and um yeah let's try and get this thing working so let's set this thing up up. what you guys want to do is go over to your groups and you want to make sure you have a group that you can set up this extension and game with what i'd recommend doing guys is actually just going and creating a new one it will cost you around 100 robux obviously you enter the group's name the description the emblem manual approval you might want to set it to that then you can just buy it for me i've already got some groups uh, let me see what's a group that not many people are in miranda shark group yeah i think i used that for um, a 40 percent script video before so i guess we can use this again so that's step one out of the way just make sure you've got a group. The next step, we're going to go and edit the row saver default place. So what we're going to do, guys, is we're going to edit this in Roblox Studio. Yep, it's on copy locked, so you should be able to open it without any problems. Oh yeah, I probably should have said that earlier. This is only for PC because um, obviously you've got to configure it in Studio and stuff. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on dismiss. We're going to go up to file. You're going to do um, publish to Roblox as you want to change this from my games to the group you just made or maybe the group you had earlier. So the one I was using was my random shot group as you can see i have a game there but i'm going to create a new game uh maybe just call it like um 40 script or something actually i'll tell you what i'm just going to call it save robux because that sounds pretty good uh maybe the description 40 percent everything else looks fine so we're going to go and create this just give it a second to load and just save to your roblox then it should just like refresh and do some weird stuff by the looks of it it should load back up there you go so now we're going to dismiss again you can close down this you want to go into file you want to go into game settings then you're going to go on to security and you want to make sure you enable or allow third party sales if you don't allow this you're not going to be able to save robux it does say it makes your experience vulnerable to third party attacks which is a load of rubbish i've been doing this for years with udc i don't know what that's that's about that's just dumb anyway we're going to go and save that and then guys we should be good to go just make sure you control s just to go and save it and um yeah we should be okay so now you've closed out of studio if you just go to um i think it'd be your create tab you just want to find the game so if you just go and change it to the group so that was my random shark group it was save robux that's it so we're going to click on this we're just going to do open a new tab it should open something that looks like this you just want to click view on roblox and here it is it's looking a bit basic but that's fine you could always add like a thumbnail if you wanted to but what we really need to do guys is just copy the id from the top here we're actually just going to highlight that and then do control copy on your keyboard or control c and now what we need to do guys is click on the extension so i'm going to click on the three dots at the top 
up here i'm pretty sure it's the same on chrome you want to go down and you want to go to extensions once you select that you should be able to find row saver and you can actually click on it and it's going to open up your row saver settings so this is where you place in your place id so control v which means paste and then we're going to save it you should then get like a little notification saying it's saved and now we can give this a try so we're going to open up the marketplace i guess we can find something we want to buy i don't know why it's coming up with all of this hair because um i would never normally buy that okay let's buy some like uh dominus thing actually nah that thing's a bit crap let's buy something a bit more expensive okay so i found something kind of expensive this is the blue top hat made by roblox and it will set you back 1500 robux to be honest i don't really want to buy this but it's perfect for this video it's a good example if i buy this using the extension it should save me 600 now this is where the extension gets good normally if you'd go and buy this it would give you two options buy now or cancel but it now tells me if i click this button i'm gonna save 600 robux so let's go and give this a try right this is really cool so you click on it then it's gonna ask you if you'd like to open your game and if you go and click on open pretty much guys that's how it works it opens the game automatically for you so as you can see the game is loading and you will never ever forget again i feel like that's why this extension is so good because normally i would just always forget to do this so if i go and buy this 1500 there you go it succeeded hopefully guys in my group it should give me 600 robux back oh yeah this is the only error i've noticed sometimes it just keeps on popping up again but to be honest i guess that doesn't really matter anyway so now what you would do is you'd go on your profile you'd go on your group if you'd go to uh, you've got to go to configure your group then you've got to go to revenue and if you go on summary yeah pending robux 600 now the only issue is i really don't know how long it's going to take you to get this robux so you can pay it back to your account obviously you'd go into like revenue and payouts and just you know pay it back to yourself for some people it takes like a week and then i've also heard from other people it takes like three weeks which is just a bit insane but yeah that's how you do it anyway automatic robux refunds really cool you won't forget to refund your robux ever again and i can also confirm the four deep cent script still works so um yeah you can do this in all types of stuff like bundles random hats um other packages and stuff all of the same items from my last video really so um yeah hopefully you guys find this useful obviously it works on ugc items as well so um yeah i guess we can just try and buy one more thing um if we buy this we get um 40 robux back so if we click on buy it should say save 40 we can click on this to go and open our game there you go just click on open and it should pop up like this just in seconds and if you go and buy it it will work so um yeah honestly guys this is very cool stuff it should also work with ugc limiteds as well but one thing i've noticed is not all ugc creators allow their limiteds to be purchased in somebody else's game so i think it really depends like what ugc limited you find i guess we can try it with this like red valkyrie or something it looks kind of cool so let's try and save some of the robux i don't know if this is going to work let's just try it i don't know what's going to happen we can go and buy this and okay yeah it failed so there seems to be some like weird error of ugc limiteds i don't know if this is going to be fixed in the future but um we'll have to wait and see i'm just going to try my old 40 percent method from my other video just with the same ugc limited i just want to see if it works in here or not because if it doesn't work i guess roblox just like patched ugc limiteds or something so yeah this is the one from like one of my old videos as you can see it does look a bit nicer the gui is a bit better we can try and buy this um i really don't know what's going to happen though oh, i think it didn't like the rest of it just the idea at once so let's just give this a try and okay it did work so um yeah maybe use both like 40 percent scripts or something that might be a good idea i'll link my previous video down below and yeah guys i guess that's pretty much it oh,